hi everyone welcome back today java 11 features the first concepts i'm going to explain file utility methods okay uh, if you are first time you are watching please go ahead and watch java 9 and java 10 videos this is completely java 11 new features here okay now have a look here inside a files if I want to read data from the file, I want to write data into a file. So uh, from JDK 1.2 version onwards, lot of classes, okay, they introduced here. From Java 6 onwards, continuously simplified, okay. Basically in Java 6, if you want to write, if you want to read from a file, we have to open file input stream and file input stream reader and then buffer reader these many number of classes you need to write in a program then we need to load the text file line by line into a string builder object. this much code we need to write in java 6 java 7 or java 8 in java 11 they introduced two methods under java.nio.file package these methods are very simple methods write string and read string that's it you no need to create input stream output stream stream reader buffer reader these are all the classes you can avoid have a look with a small example so that you will get some idea on this one okay let me close everything let me create a fresh project so 09 hyphen file utility methods okay this is the feature of java 11 okay finish if you are watching for the first time please go ahead and watch all these concepts these are all kind of a new features guys on version specific let me create a package com dot java express package here let me create like a file uh, first we'll try for the file reading concept guys file reading demo so what I am doing, I am creating a file here. Have a look, guys. I'm creating a file. Okay. Inside this folder, uh, let me provide file name. Um, some name, guys. A student dot txt file. Okay. Inside a student, let me write suppose one zero one name is okay. Uh, name is a uh, Baskar. Something just I written here. Okay, this is some text data and again double one zero one some suppose uh, we can say some Stephen some data here. Now I want to read this data. See here. It's very very easy. We have a method already in Java 7. I think we have a path method. It is see Java dot NIO inside we have method called a we should have some method guys um there is a path not a path or paths yes we have a classy in 1.7 we have a method called a paths inside here we have a method get method directly you can provide your url it's very simplified version okay here let me provide student dot txt Okay, now add to some file path. Now here see files is a utility class. A files is a class. Here we have a method, one static method, read string. It is expecting your file path. That's it. Now you will get your output case. Now it is handling IO exception and say compile time. Here this is your result. Now see system.out.println your result here right click run java see the complete information it is printing on the console let me uh, go through for uh, reading as well just to create a file writing demo now to write a file anyway first you need as a which variable paths variable okay dot we have a get method here you should specify the url in 
okay latest versions as well this is a file part where i want to write see here i want to write into a c drive this is completely valid in the new feature uh, latest versions uh, this is a way of another way of writing your file path in c drive colon slash in the c drive by comma you can write like this also no problem you can write in a single line or multiple line inside a c drive i want to create a folder uh, have a look let me create a folder for you in the c drive here okay uh, i am creating one folder called uh, file demo okay file demo or uh, test file okay now this is my folder name test file is my folder inside a c drive test file is my folder name okay uh, here slash here i want to create some dummy file here dummy dot txt file see here at runtime when it execute it will create dummy dot txt now i want to write some data now files dot write string okay write okay uh, you want to write as a string write string it will take two parameters one first parameter is your file path and the second parameter is your content see like welcome welcome to file demo something it should be handle io exception add throws declaration and again i want to read the data in the console you know already how to read the data read string from file path now you will get your result as well system.out.printl and result here whatever you return the data i am storing into your folder as well as here now to verify go to here click on test file see a dummy file is created now see here dummy.txt here <coughs> hope you guys are clear this one and we'll catch up in the next session. Thank you, guys.